Well, hello again. I'm back. It's been a while. It's been a crazy year. Uh, really super busy work, life, all of it. But we're finally getting into spring. The weather's getting nice, so I won't drone on too long with the personal stuff. Um, back to do some more work on the camper. In fact, I've already started on this next project I've got going. We're looking into repainting the exterior. So right now I'm just going through stripping all the decals off, taking all the coverings off, uh, you know, power, water, all those little penetration pieces. So anyway, uh, tonight and the next few days, hopefully by the end of this weekend, I can have the exterior painted. So let's do it. So to get the uh, old butyl tape and the sealant off, I started scraping it, peeled off, scraped and peeled what I could. And then I took a lacquer thinner and just soaked a paper towel in it, rubbed it over it, kind of let it saturate into what was left. Uh, went over it with a scotch pad. Uh, that scraped it off pretty good, but as you can probably see, uh, it also took a decent amount of the paint off, so I'm just gonna go over it with some primer real quick and uh, protect that base metal. I also want to mention the reason I'm taking these brackets off to begin with is because I didn't like the way they were mounted. Uh, it looks pretty bad and it actually they're mounted low enough to where it interferes with how that window opens up and swings out. So I'm going to kind of redo the brackets and uh, put them at more of like an angled offset to actually have them up closer to the level of flush with the uh, top of the pop-up when it's down. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to work on that too. So this is what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna try this instead. I rebent it. It's not perfect. It's a little wavy in there, uh, but I think it'll be okay. So this will bolt right back up where it used to, right on the side of the body of the camper. This will jut out, offset from the wall. Awning will sit right here, and the side of the pop-up roof will be right here. So I think it'll actually work out pretty well, but only time will tell. So we'll see. Ooh, hit my head. All right, well, some fairly unfortunate news, friends. The whole reason I took the video on, uh, well, all the major work I did up in this corner, uh, that, that leak that rotted out all the wood. Oh, look at that, what do you know? More mold gold. Not to be confused with black gold. This is, well, not any kind of gold at all. That's just mold. So I'm a little pissed off. Uh, apparently I didn't seal it up as good as I thought. Shoot, I mean, you can still see that little, that little piece of daylight right there. I thought I sealed it up okay, but gosh, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna seal it up. Just load it up, let's seal it. And um, try to just clean up that mold the best I can, dry it out, sand it down, treat it, probably paint over it, put some kills on it or something. Hope it didn't get too much into the, the framing in there to where it actually softens up and starts bowing down again because that freaking sucks. That, that's a bummer. I didn't see today going like that. 
nonetheless, uh, it's after 7 now. Uh, it's pretty much dinner time. I'm trying to have steak salad and uh, some taters. So I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to finish bending up that other bracket. I got both those out and all the all the stuff cleaned up. I still got to prime the side of the camper where I kind of scuffed off the old paint. I'm going to call it a night and we'll get back to it later on. All right, so I got the rest of the decal scraped off. I've gotten one side sanded down 400 grit sandpaper. Uh, hopefully it's rough enough to receive the paint. We shall see. I'm not gonna paint it tonight, but it is all taped off, papered off. Uh, I'm just gonna go with one side. I'm gonna say it's good enough. Uh, this is a camper. It's probably gonna get pretty beat up anyway. It's meant for being outside. It's gonna be in the weather. It's gonna be going through trees and the woods. And I'm not gonna focus too much on paint prep because if I'm gonna use it for what I wanna use it for, the paint's gonna get messed up anyway. So this is good enough for me. Uh, my initial investment in this thing was $300 to buy it. I'm still in it overall under a thousand bucks uh, and the gallon of paint I got was an oops can for eight bucks from Lowe's. So I'm just going to throw some paint on it, see how it goes. Uh, not tonight of course, but when I do, I think it's going to turn out okay. <laughs> we'll see. It'll be my first time painting. I bought an electric spray gun, never used one before, uh, but you know, uh, beater old camper seems like a pretty good first test project so we'll try that out either tomorrow or this weekend and uh, if the one side goes well I'll do the other couple of sides three sides maybe the roof I don't know and we'll, we might add a stripe we might add some pin striping we'll see I want to play it by ear but I think it's gonna be okay so let's see that Hey, all right, it is day three into this. I didn't really do a whole lot the other day, um, just basics. Um, so today, I'm gonna give this all a wipe down and spray some paint. We're gonna see how this thing goes. Let's rock. paint all over me uh, looks like the far part over there is already starting to dry so I really don't think this is gonna take too long maybe give it another half hour do a second coat see how it looks so far not looking too bad definitely some texturing on there but I don't really care yeah this will probably take two th probably three coats I would guess I don't know I'm no paint expert but we're gonna move on let's see how it goes Into the second layer, I ran out of paint at the end. It was coming in pretty, pretty misty. So I'm probably gonna load up a little bit more and just do some touch-up spots. But 
It's actually looking all right, and maybe it's just a trick of the sunglasses. Uh, but I, I think the second layer might be it. Um, maybe a third just to be safe, a little, little extra. Uh, I've got a whole gallon of paint, and at this rate, it's probably only going to take half to do the whole camper. Um, I totally forgot to scrape the Jayco sticker off the very front of the overhang, the cab over part. Um, in fact, I didn't even touch it. I don't know how I spaced it, but I'm probably going to try to scrape that while this second layer is drying, and we'll move on from there. couple of months since uh, I finished painting the camper. I've never wrapped up the video. So I'm just going to walk through how the paint has been since. We've used it a handful of times since the paint's been done. So we've gotten to kind of test it out, put it through its paces a little bit. I haven't really been through anything heavy like brush or anything. But you know, there's, there's a little bit of wear from loading and unloading and areas of use. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and walk around and talk about it. So as you can see here, there is some good scratching up here on the front of the camper where it rubs against the uh, front of the truck bed. Sides ended up staying real good. Honestly, all the vent accesses and everything here stayed good. The penetrations here, not so great. That paint did not take well to any of the sealants we have on there or the plastics. Back door, not too bad. Only bad spots are these couple of rubbing areas where our ladder folds up against. Local skate shop, shout out. Sides, again, looking good. Window frames looking good. All the metal really has been holding the paint well. This area up here was one of the more difficult parts to paint because of the angle of the spray gun. I couldn't really get the back side of these ridges in the uh, curvature under the cab over portion front window here again just a hard spot to spray into those little crevices in there I did what I could but not perfect metal latches again um, see more wear than pretty much anything so they are uh, a little more susceptible so overall I'm pretty stoked on how it turned out um, yeah it's not perfect uh, and I never intended it to be or thought it would be uh really i just wanted to update it and not have that old 80s tan brown stuff and uh i i'm i'm really stoked on it um yeah it is a little bit hotter in the sun because it's black and just soaks it up um but it's not that bad really on the hot sunny days like i'm not hanging out in it anyway i just go to sleep in it at night so 
it's all good. Um, I'm still debating adding little details here and there, stripes or pops of color or whatever, but I think the stickers and the windows and <laughs> wherever else they're gonna end up are gonna do that for me. So to wrap it all up, uh, it really was pretty cheap. Um, the biggest investment in the painting project was time and the most money I spent was on the electric spray gun and I'm pretty sure that was like 50 or 60 bucks a gallon of paint and uh, and it turned out pretty all right so for any of you who are thinking about uh, updating the paint on yours I'd say the most important thing you can do is good prep the sanding and cleaning everything prior is really what's holding this paint on for me so take your time prepping also, while you're taking things off in your prep process, I would recommend resealing anything that makes sense. I resealed all the light, the running lights going around the outside of mine. I think I was getting water leaks through a couple, which is what led to the initial uh, repairs that I had to do when I first got the camper in building the cab over portion. When I took a look on the the back side of where those lights are mounted, all that wood was soft and I think it was leaking in behind those front running lights. So hopefully in resealing those, that will take care of the source of the leak. The wood's still good uh, that I replaced, so all is well there, but we're coming up on the rainy season again. And aside from fixing where I think that leak may have stemmed from, I'm gonna look into getting a cover. That'll be the next thing, so. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Comment if you liked it, if you have any questions or advice, uh, <laughs> how I may have done better. At this point, it doesn't really matter because it's done and I'm not gonna redo it, but uh, feel free to comment how you feel. And if you wanna see more videos, they'll come, maybe slowly, but they'll come eventually. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later.